Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Let's talk about the macro view verse first and then we'll uh, kind of dive into the, you know, the, the day. Um, again, very, very important area. You know, we, we discussed this area last night. Uh, we discussed this area uh, this morning. Uh, the cues are kind of just bumping up the supply, right? You can see this bumping up the supply after a very, very big run. Again, kind of review negating uh, a lot more newer uh, coronavirus headlines. Okay, so th there's nothing has changed. I, I, again, I, I think we have a very, very definitive area from the macro point of view, as we discussed last night, uh, either above this uh, 231 area on the queues or below yesterday's low. So that's kind of set. Um, I, I think we more need to talk about kind of like I, I've ran out of hyperboles to kind of describe what we're seeing right now in this tape. Okay. Um, today was a very, very aggressive day. Okay. Incredibly aggressive day. Um, yesterday, I made a conscious effort uh, not to trade uh, Tesla in the morning because I thought it was going to get squeezed. Uh, today, I wanted to trade Tesla because, again, there was very, very definitive ranges. Um, the craziest part about the stock, and again, I just want to just just to kind of put this into perspective. Three weeks ago, right? Three, four weeks ago, you know, the good old days, the old school days, right? When Tesla was, you know, usually a two, three dollar move on an interval is considered good, like really, really good. Um, just to give you an example of where we are present day. Okay. So here's a 60 minute view of Tesla. We had two pivots in the room today, one at the bottom of the range we'll talk about in a second, and one at a sneaky pivot back to the downside. So we had a pivot today to the upside, which was insane, and a pivot today to the downside, which was very, very good. Okay, um, And just to put a perspective, from the time that the initial pivot, right, just to give you an example how and where we are, from the time of the initial pivot that took out the sneaky pivot and confirmed this channel, Okay, from bottom to top, it put up an 85 point move, 85 point move. By no means did I catch 85 points. Okay, I caught a really good move, didn't catch 85 points. And from the point of a second pivot, right, to the downside, there was 100 points, just to give you a, a, the dynamics of where we are right now. There was a, a 100 points of range, okay, and, and, I'm not, and I'm not talking about anything else in between that was filtered out as noise. But there was 100 points of range in potential measured potential. Just think about how crazy this is. And the most amazing part is I think people are getting spoiled. Okay. Two, three points is good on the stock. In this interval, right, we're looking at 10 to 15 to 20 points per one minute intervals. Insane. Absolutely insane. And this is why people are still flocking to the stock. They might have never had any type of relationship with this thing. They might have never type, had even traded it before, but the fact that they know the stock can go up 100 points and go down 100 points, the most uneducated, underfunded, lack of process people are running to the hills to try to get a piece of this trade. And this is where we're seeing, I mean, this is exactly what we're seeing every day. You know, look, if you have a strategy, a process to take advantage of this, absolutely you can. But again, as I say to the newer traders, stay away. This is just not for you. How do you know when to get back in when the average true range is not 100 points, right? When your average true range is actually sitting in a channel for multiple candles of two, three dollars, one, you know, one candle, two candles, three candles. This, this has to provide some sort of market structure for the average trader who's never had any type of exposure to this thing to kind of get their beak wet. Because again, if you're just trading this thing on the anticipation of another hundred point move, directional bias in one direction, you're, you're gambling. There's, there's nothing really to even discuss. You are gambling. And the more times that you dip your toe, you dip your toe, you dip your toe, 
eventually, okay, your toe is going to get cut off. It's just, it's just the reality. It's going to get cut off. So unless you are a very, very experienced trader, and ex again, this is what we've been putting uh, specifically on the Twitter feed, right? Specifically on the Twitter feed because you guys are not in the live webinar. You, you're not listening to me tell the, the, you know, the, the newer traders, hey, stay away from this damn thing. It's not for you. So you guys have to really understand your, 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 your point of reference of your experience level in something like this. But, but it's just absolutely amazing. We'll talk about the pivots uh, in a few minutes. Again, from the macro point of view, we discussed that upper channel. Uh, no news is good news right now. The, the one thing that's amazing to me, two things, actually two things that are amazing, that the Dow continues to be very, very strong. The NASDAQ continues to be very, very strong. But if you look at channels, okay, this is, and this is kind of very, very weird. If you look at channels, for example, on Amazon, again, Amazon had a 200 point run. You guys remember Amazon right from earnings, right? Had a 200 point run. And again, it maintains the rise in support. It looks like it's bull. Now, how long is this the damn thing going to consolidate for? Right? Every single day you think, okay, it's going to take out the top of the channel. And every single day it's starting to s go sideways, just like the way it acted before, right? Absolutely before um, it came out with earnings. Same thing with Roku, right? Like Roku, the funny thing is Roku was actually my first trade of the day today. And I lost money in Roku, okay? Um, and I said to myself, well, if this thing's not rallying, it takes out the bottom of the range, it's going to get hit. So I shorted Roku, right? I shorted Roku. It goes down like 75, 80 cents. Um... The one thing that I messed up on, I didn't see this linear regression line, and that's why it held. But I thought this thing was going to completely crap out. Remember, this was the weakest stock yesterday. It was the weakest stock on Friday. We're at the top of the channel. I expected this thing to crap out. Okay, I lost some money. I lost about a dollar in the trade. No big deal. N next, the next trade on, on, on uh, Tesla kind of made it all back. It was all good. So it's, it's nothing to do with that. The point is there is no rhyme or reason why these stocks are not coming out of their channels, both long and short. There's enough strength there to still attract the dip buyers, but there's not enough buyers there to push them kind of over the edge. And that's exactly what you're seeing right now in multiple names. You're seeing that in Amazon, which has a phenomenal catalyst because that's earnings, okay? Uh, you have that right now in shop, right? You have the shop going sideways. You have that in the video, although in the video attempted to kind of come out today. We'll talk about the pivot there in a second. Uh, NOW, right? Again, look at NOW, still going sideways, okay? And again, it's only a couple of days. And again, so everybody's gonna turn around and say, well, it's just kind of, it's kind of relaxing. Yeah, okay, the market's, I mean, when the hell is the market gonna be like this for it to relax? You gotta keep on going, you gotta keep on going, you gotta, gotta keep on going, right? Look at Square after the big, big run, and now it's just kind of gap down and kind of going sideways. So we're in a very odd market, okay? If you're trading beta, yes, it's all about Tesla right now, but you would love to see more participation. Again, look at Netflix, broke out a couple of days ago, right? Broke out, it came right back at the channel, and now it's going sideways. Alibaba broke out, right? Gap down, now it's going sideways. And this is on and on and on and on. So if you are a beta trader, and you're turning around everything every single day and say, well, why are these things trapped? You know what, you're not alone. Until these things have a definitive area to take out the top of the channel, take out the bottom of the channel, you're going to see this muted, really, really muted price action. And considering how strong the Dow is, I can see people getting, you know, FOMO, right? I can see people, you know, and again, Boeing, huge move today, huge move today, Boeing, uh, Apple. I mean, these are the stocks that are carrying the Dow Jones, your Apple, uh, your Boeing, we got Boeing today. Uh, Apple, you had Microsoft on a very, very strong move today. So at least we're recognizing what's carrying the Dow, but it's the lack of participation of other things that are sitting there and you go, well, wait a minute, well, what's going to happen when they finally pull the market? Like, you know, again, maybe in this lifetime, maybe in the next one, but what is going to happen when these things finally play the market? Are they finally going to come in? And every single time you, you think that, the next day they start rallying. So very, very odd market, very, very aggressive market. Um, the names that go, they really, really go. And we had some pretty really some really really good pivots today but more important the bounce plays have been really really great um again for all you guys who are on the twitter feed you don't see these bounce plays because again we put this in the live webinar we, we try to keep the, the twitter feed strictly for pivots that's it strictly for pivots everything else is you know we're doing the live webinar but a ve again very very aggressive day so let's talk about it guys so here was my morning comments right here's my morning comments um uh, right at morning strategy. Again, this is kind of my two cents I put into the Twitter feed. I go ranges today for Tesla, 734, 735 to the upside with an initial potential of 752 and to the downside, 688, uh, 688, 687 needs to build, okay? So look at, look at, look today, look at today uh, at Tesla, right? So 
And by the way, I want to actually show you guys something. Before this, before this 734, 735, here was the sneaky pivot, right? Here was the sneaky pivot. I actually put this in after, uh, after the initial pivot. I wrote, hey, 716 is actually sneaky. So before that 734, if it reclaims, it could really, really go. And here were the levels. Here were the levels right here, right? Here are the levels right over here on Tesla. Here's a 60 minute view, right? Here reclaimed the 716, right? And here's where I got long. And just if, if I'm thinking about it now, it's kind of amazing that I, I got long $16. Just 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 say this out loud, does it make sense? I got long $16, $18 after the initial sneaky pivot, okay? I got long in the 734. It exploded, right? It exploded, put in its initial move of 770, for God's sake, 770, okay? This was literally, this was literally, you're, you're, you're talking about, a 90 point range within the first two channels. Ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. But again, we'll talk about, uh, we'll talk about the second half of that trade in a second. Uh, he, yeah, this is where I screwed up on Roku. I got short Roku. It went down like 75, 80 cents. Uh, I thought it was gonna break down below that 23 and a half. I, it was my fault. I, I, I didn't see, um, I didn't see the, um, I, I didn't see the linear regression line and that was supporting, that's why it held it. And went back higher. Uh, BYND didn't do anything. It's still stuck in this range between 114 and 108. Uh, NVIDIA, you know, finally broke. Uh, not a big break, but, but finally broke here. We talked about this 253 level needs to build. Here is NVIDIA, right? Here's NVIDIA. Here's the 253. Uh, traded up to like 254.40. Um, this never quite made it. It got to the 7150s level and then never confirmed the second time around. Amazon, crickets, crickets, crickets. Okay. Uh, this one never confirmed. This one never got down there. It's, uh, 3880 never got down there. Again, Tesla was 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 a rocket launcher today. Absolute rocket launcher today. Uh, and then I put a pivot to the top of the range that never confirmed on Roku. So it's kind of stuck in between the channels. And then next thing, next thing you know, you know, just huge, just a huge, huge move. Billy was a huge move today. Billy was a really, really big move today. Uh, B I B I L I. We saw 25 calls coming in very, very early. Uh, 2450 needs to build. And here was uh, Billy, right? Here was Billy right here. This 24.50 went to like 20, almost 27. I mean, I would still like it for tomorrow on dips. Uh, really nice looking move on Billy. Uh, Tesla, you know, whatever. 702, it got to, actually, I got up to 797. Okay, 802, excuse me. Uh, but anyway, that was big. Uh, this number obviously got there. Uh, NOW, I still like this thing for tomorrow. Now here is the afternoon flush, right? Here was the big, big afternoon flush. Again, we had that massive pivot from 734, and then here's the afternoon flush. And I tweeted this out and I said, hey, experienced traders only. Again, you guys are not in a live webinar. I can't, you know, I can't put you, I, I can't take you back off the, uh, off, off, uh, off the mountain from jumping. So I have to tell you guys on, on the tweet. So experienced traders only, uh, 750, if it builds below, can flush. And uh, flip, flip, flip. So I said 737 potential take on the way down. Obviously, my God, 13 points, only 13 points. That's it. Crazy, right? Uh, so here was Tesla on the back end of this move. Uh, here was Tesla on the back end of this move right over here. This, here was the whole 750, right? 750 and it went right to uh, 1728, uh, 728. So just a cra crazy, crazy action today in uh, Tesla. Uh, sweet pivot, Billy, blah, 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 blah. And again, you, 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 kind of, you guys kind of, if you follow my, my regular Twitter feed, again, I'm trying to, uh, to really show you guys not only the pivots, but these bounce plays are phenomenal. Uh, we had today in, 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 in the webinar, like four or five really good bounce plays. Twitter was pretty good towards the end of the day. Uh, Coat, uh, CAH, Cardinal Health, uh, Sono. We, so we, we, it, these plays are really, really good. So when you don't have the natural pivots lining up, you could still take advantage in trading these channels, and that's the name of the game. You always want to take advantage of the interval that you are faced with. So uh, let's get to tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's Friday, man. Again, I, there's just so much information that we are processing on a daily basis. It's almost too much. I mean, it really is too much. That's how aggressive this market is. So let's talk about tomorrow's session. Uh, BILI, like we talked about today, uh, broke out. Uh, broke out today. Um, I'd like to see a washout this thing on a rising on, on the rising 60 minute support either a washout or a break above that you know 2680 27 level for more continuation. Um, I like Rite Aid. I think it's almost ready. If you look at Rite Aid's chart, 
had the big, big move up, really, really big move down, consolidating. Yeah, you know, I'd like to see this Bollinger Band come down, but if this thing could start building 1290.13, I think that it could start its next leg up, so keep an eye on that. Um, and I like this FLGT uh, multi-month, right? You got a multi-month breakout uh, potential on this uh, FLGT. You can see it here. If it starts, you know, reclaiming, you know, 1650, 1660, um, I think this thing can wake up as well. And uh, I like iRobot. Um, I like iRobot as well. Um, had a big, big move today. Really, really big move today. Uh, hit the 50-day moving average. Two ways to play it tomorrow. Either if it opens up weaker tomorrow on rising 60-minute support, uh, or a break above today's high of 50, you know, 58, 80, 59 for the next leg up. Uh, we'll cover all the beta pivots tomorrow at Morning Strategies. So please get there early. So crazy times, right? Crazy, crazy times we're in. Um, yeah, it's not going to last this way, guys. I can promise you. But again, for now, yes, it's, it's happening. It's happening. Guys, have a great day. Uh, have a great day, everybody. God bless, and I'll see you all on, on the field tomorrow. Take Congratulations care. for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.